This is Dr. Shakil Ahmed. Today in this short video, I will try to discuss the diagnostic aspects of gall bladder carcinoma. A woman patient of 75 years with right upper quadrant pain in jaundice presented to the ultrasound clinic and ultrasound examination was performed. The following images are required which shows asymmetrical irregular thickening of the gallbladder wall. In there is a hyperechoic calculus with posterior shadowing. Sludge is also seen in this image. CT abdomen is also performed and there was thickening of the GB wall. Gallstone was observed in the lumen of the gallbladder. To discuss the primary carcinoma of the gallbladder is an aggressive malignancy that has a low overall prevalence. However, it is the most common malignant tumor of the biliary tract. It is three times more common in women than in men. And the frequency of diagnosis increases with age, mainly in postmenopausal status. Cholelithiasis is a well-established risk factor for the development of gallbladder carcinoma. Porcelain gallbladder is an uncommon condition in which there is diffuse calcification of the GB wall. In 10 to 25% of patients with this condition have gallbladder carcinoma. Primary sclerosing cholangitis is thought to be a precursor to gallbladder carcinoma. Cigarette smoking has also been related to this malignancy. Several congenital anatomic anomalies are associated with a higher prevalence of gallbladder carcinoma. These conditions include congenital cystic dilatation of the biliary tree, cholidocal cyst, anomalous junction of the pancreatic biliary duct, in low insertion of the cystic duct. The diagnosis of gallbladder carcinoma is usually unsuspected. Early stage carcinoma is typically diagnosed incidentally because of inflammatory symptoms related to the coexistent cholithiasis or cholecystitis. Most patients with gallbladder carcinoma present with advanced diseases in the clinical features include chronic abdominal pain, anorexia, weight loss and jaundice. Three sonographic patterns of gallbladder carcinoma are as follow. First of all, presence of mass which is replacing the gallbladder. It is most common form. The mass occupies the entire lumen of the gallbladder. Mass appears heterogeneous, located at the subhepatic space in normal GV is not visualized. Here we should consider some other causes of non-visualization of the gallbladder such as atresia or agenesis that may be removed surgically or it may be uh, postprandial. So, these uh, situations, statuses may be considered in differential diagnosis. 
Echogenic foci in a caustic shadowing associated with the tumor may be due to coexisting calculi, gallbladder wall calcifications, tumoral calcifications, intraluminal air, or necrotic debris. The second type of presentation of the gallbladder carcinoma is thickening of the gallbladder. This is present in 20 to 30 percent of GB malignancy and it may be diffuse or focal. Diffuse thickening in tumor infiltration can be similar as chronic cholecystitis. However, the wall infiltrated by cancer is thicker and more irregular. Focal thickening of the wall may represent early stage of the tumor. The gallbladder carcinoma may be presented as intraluminal mass within the GB lumen. The mass has usually irregular border that is non-specific. It may represent either cholesterol or an inflammatory polyp or benign tumor. It can be confused with the non-shadowing stone, blood clot, biliary sludge, or presence of pus. The changes in shape and position of the mass after changes in patient position are considered benign lesions. This patient underwent surgery, cholecystectomy was performed, and the histopathology confirmed the diagnosis of adenocarcinoma of the gallbladder. Thank you very much for watching. Hope the message is delivered. It is requested to subscribe and share the video to other colleagues.